Hey guys, Furum here, and today I am bringing you a very special video. I've recently hit 1,000 subscribers. So I've been doing YouTube for a little over two years now, and I've learned a thing or two about videos and stuff, which I will be covering in this video. I'm going to be showing you how I make the videos that I make. First, I would like to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. And I cannot thank you enough for continuing to give advice and comment on my videos and everything else that you guys have done. So this is a very special video. Let's get into it. So the program I use to record, which you can see I'm using right now, is called Bandicam. Currently, I have show mouse cursor on with this little checkbox here so you can see where I'm pointing. <laughs> um, but usually in videos, I will turn this off. What I do, well, first, let me say this. Bandicam is a free-to-use program. However, it costs something if you want to remove the watermark. So go to Presets. I click Sony Vegas Premiere or Pinnacle or whatever. So this basically allows the recording to be used in Sony Movie Studio, which is the editing program I will use. And then once I click that preset, I'll, I go into here. I change the size from full size to ten the, to 1280 by 720. And the rest of this, I just leave as it is because it doesn't really need to be changed. I don't want full size. My, my monitor is 1920 by 1080, which would make for really big file sizes. My key to record or to stop recording is F12. So... That's what my settings for this are. So I'm going to be showing you how I create my Minecraft and my Asphalt 8 videos. Let's start with the Minecraft videos because that's what I've been doing the longest. My first video was Minecraft. So what I do is right now I'm on screen recording mode, which records the entire screen. Now for Minecraft, I use this one, which is game recording mode because this makes it so it just records Minecraft. If anything else is in front of Minecraft, it doesn't record it. It just records the footage from Minecraft. But I cannot use this when I'm just recording like my screen. So let me go into Minecraft and I'll show you an example of how I do this. So now as you can see, Bandicam is showing in front of Minecraft. However, if I click on this one, which is game recording mode, see it says, if you change recording mode, the recording will be stopped. Make sure you want to continue. So this will stop the recording, but it will turn into game recording mode. Now, now I am recording in game recording mode. I have Bandicam up in front of Minecraft, but you cannot see it because it is just recording Minecraft. So let me do an example. I'm going to play a game of gravity, and I'm going to go through how I start and how I end and all that. So I go, I get on Hive, the Hive server, and... So we go to gravity. So what I do usually is I will find a place to start the video, which is, I guess, pretty obvious. So say, for example, I want to stand here. So at this point, I will, I'll will just start the video. OK, so I'm going to start as I normally do and then show you how I cut out a bunch of stuff. OK. so. Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be playing a game of gravity. So, go into gravity, and let's join a game, and I will be back when the game starts. And so, see, at this point, I will I would cut out this part, and um, just not put it in the video, and I would cut back to when the game is about to start. But since I'm not cutting this part out, because you are hearing this right now, which means I can't be cutting it out, um, yeah, you'll see. So this is when I would start. So I said something like, okay, guys, so the game is starting very soon, so let's see how we can do on this one. So we need to fall over this way. Gravity is a game where you have to fall, move around things, and avoid stuff, and fall into the water. And there's five different maps. So let's see if we can get first or if someone else will do it before me. And it looks like this person is quite good and my render thing is not loading. And I just died. So yeah, I probably will not get first on this unless that first person dies. All right. So hey, it says down below wh when they finish the stage. But OK. So this is a bunch of hard maps they're giving me. Um, I believe we go, I forget how to get through this map. 
have not played Gravity in a little while. Um, okay, got through that one. Got two more. See, it says fails three down below. Fast food. Another one that I forget how to do. Did I get it? Nope. I need to go in this corner. There is only one... only one corner with water in it, which is this here. So now we can climb out and go into this, and we can be in the final stage. Now this is one of the original maps from the original dropper map. And water load. And now we get out. Somebody has already finished. So I have now finished as well. Finished second. That's not too bad. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you have enjoyed, and I will see you later. Goodbye. So at this point, I stop the recording and go into my editing program, which I will show you now. Okay, so I am back in screen recording mode, so now I will show you how I make my videos, how I edit my videos inside of Movie Studio Platinum. So what you see now, I've already started a project for the current video I am making called How I Make My Videos 1000 Subs Special. Unless I change the name before I upload it, in which case it will be different, and let's not get into that. So here, I have changed it to Internet HD. Click Internet Video and then Internet HD. This is 1280 by 720 and basically 30 frames per second. This is a good way to get a good looking video without the file size being huge. I would normally call it something like Minecraft Gravity Hive MC numbered five or whatever. And at the beginning, I put something like something in all caps to get people, people like all caps for some reason, falling. So what I would do now, go I go into Movie Studio Platinum Projects. That's what this is called, Movie Studio Platinum. And I have a ready-made intro, which I can drag in. You guys will recognize this. So this has been my intro for quite a while. So now I put my cursor right at the end of it. I go into Bandicam, and I drag in the video that I just created, which is this one right here. The G Java W is the Minecraft ones, and Bandicam is Asphalt 8 ones. So that's how I can tell. So I drag this in. So let's see how I sound like. Now, now I am recording in game recording mode. I have Bandicam up in front of Minecraft, but you... Yeah, so at this point, I would cut to when I actually started the game. Gotta find it. Hey guys, fear him. Yes, so at this point, I cut the video, click split, delete the entire section beforehand, and I move this over. So now what happens... Hey guys, fear him here, and today I'm going to be... And so it starts there. And then sometimes I will cut in the middle of a video, or raise and lower volume. There's a thing called insert remove envelope, and I do volume, or I can raise and lower the volume on something when the game starts. Like here, I will be back when the game starts. Like in the middle here, it's a little lower. Now this is not something I would do a lot, I'm just showing you. So if we double click on both ends twice and raise it up, we'll be back when the game starts. I don't know if you could tell very well, but it changed the volume. And then... I would go to the end after I said, see you later. Goodbye. Then drag it all the way to around here, go back into here, find my outro, which I are which I have ready made as well. Bring that in and overlap it so it says 0.5. This is a transition. It's telling you how long the transition is. I like to get it 0.05. Goodbye. So about like this. See you later. Goodbye. So now what I do, save it, and I click make movie. Click save to my hard drive. And then I click MP4, says for create internet ready videos. And then I click next, and it begins to make the video. Okay, so now it is finished. I go to explore folder, and click finish, save it, exit it. And it will show up in here very, very soon. Okay, here it is. So falling. Minecraft Gravity Hive MC number 5. And so now I'm going to show you how I make my Asphalt 8 videos. Close, almost the same thing, 
Not quite. This time, I do use the screen recording mode. So, I because the game recording mode, I'm, I don't think it works with Asphalt 8. So that's why I've always used this. I just, when I go into full screen, it's not a problem. Okay, so now Asphalt 8 is up, and I've clicked F12 to begin recording. And if I go down here, you can see that there's a, I mean, a red circle with a silver square in it. If I press F12 again, it will make the video dip go away. So, I don't know. What should I do? <laughs> I need to find something to make a video about here. Okay, so I guess I'll just do a mastery for the MP431. Then here, I would start the video. So, hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be showing you the 12th mastery challenge for the McLaren MP431. So, let's do this and hope the car doesn't skid, because the MP431 tends to skid quite a bit. Okay, so here we go. French Ghana, not the greatest track for this car because it has some dirt and road transitions that are not good. So yeah, here something I do to roll off the door. And at this point I probably restart the video. I mean restart this. And just cut to the point where I actually <laughs> make a good recording. So, here we are in the MP431, and let us try to do a good job on this 12th Mastery. So, something I like to do, do a barrel roll off this flat spin, and <laughs> what a great landing. Okay, so here we go. It says it's going about as fast as my homage, but fake speed is bad. Yeah. This car is only good in multiplayer at max road, and even then, it is not as good as the Vulcan. Which, guys, I am only about 2,400 tokens from the Vulcan. So, yes, hopefully I will be making a video of that when it comes out. I'm a little, I'm a little over 100 licenses away from the Cobra, which I will be doing soon as well. I also have exactly 100 cars. I may make a video about my 100th car. I'm not sure. I recorded footage for it, but we shall see. Yeah, I'm giving you a few behind-the-scenes things that I would not normally say in a normal Asphalt 8 video. Which I don't know how you've been doing. So, here we go. Finishing. It didn't skid, thankfully. So, here we go. Finish that challenge. 102, 403. So, thank you for watching, guys. I subscribe if you enjoyed, and would like to see me make more Asphalt 8 videos. And I will see you later. Goodbye. So now, I go down here, and I would stop the recording, but since I want to continue talking, I will not stop the recording right now. So now, I can close Asphalt 8. I'm going to now go into Movie Studio, and here we are in Movie Studio. So, I create a new one. So, it'll be like, Asphalt 8, uh, is it Mercedes or McLaren? I forget. So, yeah, let's just call it MP431. Mastery 12. Okay, so MP431, Mastery 12. I do the same thing as I did before. Go down here, get my intro. I was also thinking sometime I could make a new intro, and I'm not sure, though, what it would be, but we'll see. I don't know. Do you guys want me to change my intro or not? So here, this is the... See, this says Bandicam. This is the one that I just recorded. And I also will find my outro as well for this. And after I make this one, I'll show you me actually uploading it to YouTube. Although I'll not actually upload it because it's just to be inside of this video. This video is very confusing for me to make. So I'm pretty sure it's right here. So here I will split, delete the whole first part of that, drag these over. There's also auto ripple, but I leave that off because um, I don't really care for it. For some reason, it messes with hey my Hey guys, Furum here, and so, end of thing. Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be, yeah. And so, I want to cut out the part where I did, where I wrecked. And so, I'm going to show you how I oh. do something like that. Let's do this, and hope the car doesn't skid. So, I may cut it, like, right here. The MP431 tends to skid quite a, and I'm not going to put that in there, because you can see down below, 
I went down to make sure I was recording. That's something you don't want to put in a video normally. So there I wrecked. So let me go back and just cut to the point where I actually <laughs> and not say that in the video either. So, so what I will do is I will cut here, cut here, transition it by dragging it over. Nobody will ever know. And hope the car doesn't skid. So here we are in the MP431. I mean, obviously you can tell there's and a transition, but there would uh, be anyway. So this is a little bit of a trick that you can use on your videos. So thankfully, we get to the end. And I will see you later. Goodbye. Then, as before, I cut. I pull it back. I make sure to get all the way for me saying goodbye. Goodbye. That seems good. So let's save this. Make the movie as I did before, and I'll see you back when it's done. So it is finished. Explore folder, finish, save, exit. Now we go to my YouTube channel. And let's go to my upload thing, which is up here. And let's see. So now I just take this. And I drag it in to over here. Now, for some reason, the colons go away. So I do that. Add it to a playlist of Asphalt 8, Advanced Settings, Game Title, Asphalt 8, Airborne. Recording date is today. And now I make a description. Usually what I do is I go back and find something, find a previous video, like, say, for example, my normal edition multiplayer video thing, and I will copy a lot of the description on my videos so I don't have to write all over again, like the link, so I don't have to find them. So I keep a bunch of stuff in here. Then I delete the stuff that I don't want for now. Oh, yes, um, the join Team Purple. It's good. Okay, it's a shameless plug, but okay, so what I'll do, like, in... I play the MP431 Mastery 12 race, or something like that, and enjoy. You know, something I'm, sometimes I'll be like, will I succeed? Yeah. So, tags. So other videos that have these tags, your videos will most likely show up on their recommended. And if you X this, it says this, but you leave because they're actually saved. Don't, it doesn't actually do anything. So Asphalt 8, MP431, just anything that, nope, that's not how you spell it, MP431. So anything that relates to the video, mastery challenges. So now I will show you a little bit of how I make my thumbnails. So we go into GIMP. GIMP is the program that I use to do this, to make my thumbnails. As you can see, Bandicam is still going strong with this recording. And the thing on the right shows you how much space you actually have left on your computer. The one on the left is how much space it's using up. So now I go into GIMP. YouTube thumbnails can be a maximum of 1280 by 720. So we create a new one that's 1280 by 720. Now, if I have not taken a screenshot, a lot of times what I'll do, and this is another interesting strategy, I will find, so, so say I want a neat picture of my MP4 drifting in the tunnel. So like, and I, you also want to get one that's not blurry. So say I like this. So what I'll do is I'll hit full screen. I'll click view full screen, then hit print screen right away. Because it you don't want the bottom part there. Because, and it gave me a black screen. So let me show you what happens if it's just full screen and you take a picture. It's not good, because look at this. Well, it doesn't show it right now, but if you, if you make it a normal size height of 720 and you have to pull it back in, but, but you will see down below it has the stuff from Windows Media Player, and I don't want that. So instead, I will hit full screen, print screen. Hopefully it didn't keep it. Yes, I've gotten it. So see, I've gotten it so that it does not have anything at the bottom of the screen. Now I go up to the corners, make sure it's exact. Actually, now I want to make this bigger and just zoom in on the car. So let's say I want to make this 2400. Now, this does blow up the picture, and it will not be as good of quality. But 
say I just want like a neat picture of the MP431 drifting without the map, without all the airtime and stuff. So I can do something like this. Then what I can do is go into, is well, I can find my Asphalt 8 logo. So let me get my Asphalt 8 logo and put it in there. All right, so my Asphalt 8 logo is in here. And it is kind of big. And let me do this to new layer and do this. Okay, so we put this, say, up here or something. And then I will do something like MP431. You guys can probably not see this. Challenge 12. And I want to make all this justify... Actually, no, no, no. Here's something you want. Never put text over in the lower right corner because that will be covered up by the length of the video on YouTube. I've learned this. It is a bad idea. If you want... if any, Don't put anything over there that's of any consequence. So we make this like... 64 of a font. Change it. I, I like my color white. It stands out a lot. This is the font that I use. It is called Sans Bold Italic. So now I can do filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. This is how I get a shadow on the background. It's not really needed here, but if you have like white on a light background, you need to do this. Otherwise, it will not stand out. So you click OK, and it puts a, you can't see it very well here. It puts a shadow around it, though. You see over here, drop shadow? Drop shadow. Okay. So, say I do something like this, then I export it as MP431. Maybe. I, I'll just do that. I'll, I'll export it to the desktop and compression level 7, so it doesn't take as long, but it still is not a big file size. And now I, and my video processing is done. Now, I don't want to actually publish this video. <laughs> Because it is within the video that you're watching now that has been published. And this video will not have been published when you're watching this video. So custom thumbnail, go to my desktop, find it. So MP431, open this. And we'll upload it. And then this will be the thumbnail. So since I do not actually wish to upload this video, to finalize it, I'll just X the page and leave it. So. This has been definitely one of the most different videos that I've got I've done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. It was fun to make and I hope you guys will be able to use some of the tips I've used in this video on your own YouTube channels or anything else. So guys, thank you for watching. Thanks again so much for 1000 subscribers and I will see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>